call Loyal Bashi Biel Shai Bashi Mukakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles that great most on the Shalom Tov for Black Yar. I'm going to get this word postulate as it pertains to the scriptures. This came up in the foreword to Isaiah 41 and pretty much goes into how the Most High is going to restore its people. All right. And it's uh, another version of the scriptures that says that he that he's going to uh, yet choose Israel. Okay, the Most High is always ever only been dealing with the nation of Israel now. Okay, the scriptures talk about how uh, you chasten them who you love. All right, and it was only a, a, um, an act of of love and compassion from the Heavenly Father to jack us up the way he has in the history and uh, human his history, the most disenfranchised, oppressed people in the history of mankind that, um, that it's out of pure love that the Most High would, uh, would do it to show us the, the spectrums, man. All right? Fucking evil and then righteousness. Wickedness and then righteousness. Uh, down so we can experience up. And then um, it goes in, in the Apocrypha, I believe in Maccabees, how um, somebody that you care about or that you want to succeed, you jack them up uh, right on the spot. Okay, rather than to let a motherfucker um, pile up in his in his infractions, man, so that he get the, the ultimate hammer. It's more compassionate and um, in mind of of someone's success and and uh, for them to prevail. If you work with them as they're fucking up, and you and you uh, you correct them and, and discipline them as such. All right. That's why in the scriptures it said he nourished us with discipline. How could you be fed or, um, by getting jacked up? Because it's, it's showing you the benefit in it. All right. So the Most High is about to postulate us, the nation of Israel, it's one third, okay, 144,000 uh, chiefly to, the, to a priesthood, okay, in the ecclesiastical sense. This is a, a postulate in the in ecclesiastical law means to nominate or elect someone to an ecclesiastical office subject to the sanction of a higher authority. Okay, so the Most High is about to nominate. <laughs> he's about to appoint his elect to that. Uh, ecclesiastical office, all right, which is a priesthood. And the precepts are coming to mind. Mosai is about to um, restore, not only restore the um, the priesthood of the nation of Israel, but he's going to expand it into all all the tribes. Okay, scriptures talk about how. Um, the, the it talks about how priesthood was exclusive to the, the Levites, the tribe of Levi, okay? And how Yehoshai being that chief priest, okay, under the order of Melchizedek, um, it becomes the expansion of the priesthood into all the tribes started with the Haushai, okay? And it's going to, um, it's going to flourish in the kingdom when the 144,000 are the pre, uh, become priests in its full uh, uh, fruition, okay? When you go into that word priest, it means someone that's in direct communication with the Heavenly Father, all right? Does it not say that the things that are known to the Most High are made known to us. 
via Yahweh Shai. Okay. So that's what the Most High has in store for his elect. All right, and it, and it's sanction. Uh, it's subject to the sanction of the higher authority, which is Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the direct. It's going to be, uh, Slack, yeah, I'll say the, because uh, he will be direct, because we're going to have um, direct uh, dealings with Yahweh, okay? We're not going to have to go through Yahweh Shai in the kingdom, even though we're going to respect that hierarchy, okay? But we're going to be sanctioned to the authority of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, okay? This is the the uh the ancient sanction, if you will. Um, this is the um, this is basically proof in the scriptures. This is the account in the scriptures that shows that the children of Israel are priests unto the uh unto the heavenly Father. Okay. This is Exodus 19 and 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So that's what the Most High intendedly, in, um, initially intended it for it to be set up. Uh, it says a kingdom of priests. Okay. But as we m mentioned about the journey that the Most High had the elect to undergo okay because it's like likened to the hero's journey that they fucking depict in all these movies and these uh, p different pieces of literature and shit okay basically um the the hero the protagonist um starting out at a level and then fucking getting getting uh fucking shit it on and really it's in a form of a of a major event a major occurrence that happens a tragic fucking uh uh incident that happens in that in that uh character's life that pretty much takes him down to rock bottom man all right and then he has to and then the the, the fucking the whole the whole uh uh the crux of the of the whole piece is is the battle back, all right, and that's the case for Israel. See, they started off to be a holy people unto the Most High, okay, above all people in the face of the earth, okay, um, exalted. Um, they went from that to being fucking the rock bottom of all the nations on the on the face of the earth. All right, from disobeying their power, for, from transgressing the laws that he has set forth for us. All right, this is in Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected uh, knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power i will also forget thy children so we went from the uh a um status with the help shy okay having a position to where he had casted us off and away from those positions that he initially set us up in okay but the most high is going to soon repostulate and uh really a new it's a renewal because this thing is going to be kainos don't forget okay everything's going to be refreshed so it's not going to be of of old that um the most high appointing and exalting his um 
the, the elect of, the, of his nation to those positions, it's going to be like a new thing. Now, all right. And it's heavy because in that chapter in Isaiah 41, how it talks about the Most High and postulateth his people, it goes into him creating a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Okay, that's actually a part of it. All right. Did did not uh, uh, the priests, some of the priests get busy? All right. Well, that's why it's the it's a uh, it's the tie-in. It's a it's a um, in association with the tribe of Levi. When you look at the Haitians, they call them fucking uh, shatas. Okay, um, they're they're machete wielding uh, uh, you know assassins, man. When you look at our forefather Samuel. Who hewn and fucking and chopped up Amalek? All right. So the so the priest the priest got got shit uh, uh, done. Okay, executions for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. So this the Most High is going to uh, he's going to completely fucking abolish this um, him him. Uh, taking us down from the, these positions, okay? Being, not being a priest to him. It's pretty much a fucking, um, what is that called when you get a uh, termination, okay? He's going to, he's going to um, negate that, that, that termination that he made, that he, um, that he performed on our people, all right? This is in hmm, Salakia. Romans 11 and 1, I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbid. For I am also an Israelite, the seed of Abraham, the tribe of Benjamin. Got this to show you of all this, the utterings straight even from the mouth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that uh, that he, his people that he rejected his people okay because they fucking went a whoring off from him they, like I said that um, he pretty much fucking uh, hid himself and and uh, allowed for major destruction and oppression to be exacted upon us as punishment, all right? But did he do that to cast us away? Absolutely not. Most High forbid, okay? Because the Most High is going to restore us. And this is finishing off in Revelation, fifth chapter, ninth verse. It says, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast saint, slain, and hast redeemed, and hast redeemed us from the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. All right? Those are the Israelites. One third, 144,000. The elect, the remnant. Okay? The, the, uh, Future priesthood of Yahweh Shai, and in an instant the current priesthood. Now, all right. It says and has made us unto our power, kings and priests. And we shall reign on in the earth. Okay. And that's what the Most High has in store for His people. Okay. He's going to restore them to to uh, that king and priesthood position. And even more significantly, it's going to be a new thing. It, it's going to be a, um, an, an essence, um, an iota, a level of restoration, but in actuality, it's going to be a completely new um, position. Huh? We have fucking no idea, no clue 
what the the level the extent the most high has for us in this man okay if you look at how the priests of old communed with the heavenly father and to think that we're going to be able to to actually be in his literal presence without fucking giving up the ghost all right it's unfathomable the the power okay the sheer power that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to bless his people with, man. Okay. And um, mo- most primarily, the joy. When you look at fucking hell, another description for hell or uh, explanation is basically separation from the Heavenly Father. We're going to experience two joy that that is that's going to supersede any power, spiritual power, um, or other carnal, um, no, I'll say, I'll say, uh, pleasures, you know, pleasures of the flesh, whatever the fuck that, that we're going to experience in the kingdom is going to pale in comparison to being in the presence of the heavenly father, man. Okay. Sheer joy and bliss, euphoria. All right. That the Most High is going to join Himself to us again. Okay, isn't that what um, Levi means? And we're going to be the we're going to be all spiritual Levites, and spiritual Judites, and spiritual Ephraimites, right? So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shimei Shai.